Hello, welcome to all of you astrology lovers. Here is the weekly horoscope for the full moon in Aries. And it's absolutely, absolutely a very interesting one. So the full moon in Aries is happening on the 24th, uh, maybe a little bit earlier, a little bit later, depending on where you live of September. So that will be on Monday of 2018. And we're going to have a full moon in Aries. So every year we have a full moon in Aries. And Aries is the first sign and it's the start of everything. So I'm going to explain in this video in general what it means. So it's quite significant and then break it down to every sign, probably in another video where I do all the signs. So you can quickly have a look at what's happening for your um, rising sign that is. But I'll get to that in a minute. But any, anyways, this is a very amazing energy. Amazing, but uh, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's challenging as well at the same time. So what is happening, and I, I have my board here. <laughs> I'm just really looking like a teacher now, don't I? But I wanna visualize a very little thing what's happening. So of course, full moons is when the moon opposes the sun. So the moon will be in Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, which is all about courage, it's all about starting, it's all about doing. And it will oppose the sun in Libra. So around two degrees of Aries, also with Chiron. Anyways, this in itself shows that there is an emphasis on things coming to conscious, of things uh, that become you become very much aware of. And because it is in Aries, it has a specific meaning. And I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But first I wanna show what's going on. Because, and this is an important one, this all squares up to Saturn and Saturn will be in Capricorn. So also around two degrees, two degrees, two degrees. It's, it's quite um, exact. And you see, this is what we call in astrology a T-square, which means tension, yes. But sometimes, as we all know, we need to have tension other, uh, in order for us to make changes. It's not the... Sometimes changes occur and it, it's almost as if things happen to us, like with trines going on, a trine aspect. But when we have this kind of pressure, it means something. So let me explain. So these are all cardinal signs. And cardinal signs is about, you know, you want to do things. Uh, a lot of entrepreneurs are, have cardinal signs. So this is a very important one, this full moon. Also because it's in the, uh, you know, you could say in the Northern Hemisphere, it's, it's about a um, uh, new season, of, of course, always with, uh, that is starting like the fall in the Southern Hemisphere, it's spring. So there is some changes coming up. Let's talk about uh, what this is. Now in astrology, astrology is there and astrologers are there to explain to you the energies. What you do with it, it's up to you. And thank God, it's up to you. But I've noticed over the years that sometimes people use astrology out of fear and out of, and that is actually not accepting what is. I think it's one of my missions, or maybe my biggest one, when I'm talking to clients, when I'm talking to students, to learn to accept. Uh, what is and um, of course easier said than done I would love to uh, accept life when everything goes well with me when uh, I'm having lots of clients and they're content and my health is good then life is easy isn't it but we all know we all have our challenges and we know that when something is out of our control let's say you have an illness of, of someone that you know or let's say something happens that is totally out of your control and you're not liking it and it's not easy, is it, to say, I accept and I'm getting more spiritual here. But the thing is that astrology is a tool to accept life better and to give it a meaning and to make the best out of it. So that is what astrology is all about. And that is what I see so much. I haven't been looking at other astrology videos for, for a long time now because I have my moon in Aries, by the way. So I'm quite a bit self-centered. I mean, yeah, I, it is what it is. 
And uh, but now maybe with this full moon coming up and the sun in Libra, I'm I'm having a look at what other astrologers are doing, and I must say, and I'm not saying this uh, to be um, you know uh, false uh, gratitude or whatever, but there are some good astrologies astrologers out there who are a bit like. Um, you know, also trying to do what I think I am trying to do here. There's certainly astrology is not about uh, trying to control things, no. And a lot of people use astrology to control, but um, it's, it's when it's a curse then. But it's a blessing, astrology, when you work with the energies. And that's why we are here, to explain the energies of today. Um, by the way, the moon in Aries, what is that all about? And what, what is happening with that T-square over there? What is, what is the reality of it? Because that is what I want you to, to show and to give as information for you. What is the reality? The reality is that this is not an easy constellation. This is not an easy configuration. This is a very challenging one. Also, the truth is that if you use it right, this can be an amazing full moon when you use the energy right. So I'm, I'm a bit like saying, this is gonna be the weather, the weather, it's gonna rain outside, but hey, take an umbrella and you see what I mean? So when we accept the energies, we're not fighting it. And we are then in alignment with the divine, with a, whether you call it God, Allah, Buddha, uh, Shiva, whoever you wanna call it, then we are in line with it. And I want you to be aligned. I want you to be in line with the divine because when you do that whether your life is the good the bad or the ugly if you do that you are ready to become a stronger version of yourself and you are ready to have that strength and to rise above it and to even trying to transcend it so to speak and this is what this moon in aries uh, is all about moon in aries is about fresh starts it's about i want to do I, i'm i'm you know, Moon in Aries is all about doing. And for every one of you, there will be an area of your life where you're saying, that's it, I need to do something here. I need to do. And Moon in Aries, um, normally without the Saturn there, um, Moon in Aries would be, I'm, I'm going, I'm having the courage. So the positive side of Moon in Aries is having courage. That doesn't mean to say that there is not fear involved. On the contrary, quite often, Moon and Aries people can have strong, strong fears, but the thing is, they're doing it even with the fear. You see what I mean? That's the positive side of Moon and Aries. So we all will have areas of our life where we need to be a bit more pushy, where we need to be a bit more go-getter, when we need to be a bit more responsible for our own enjoyment and our own lives. So what could that be? It could be that you feel that Aries energy in relationships, that you're saying this relationship with a friend, with a lover, whatever, no, I don't want this anymore. I have to take uh, action here. I have to go, for instance. Or it could mean I'm driving this car, this, uh, and he is so old, that car, that I'm risking my life, at, actually. I have to buy a new one, I, or maybe a second-hand one, but I have to stop driving that broken car because of my health, because I don't want my kids to get killed in a stupid car accident, because I'm just thinking that, um, you know, it's, it can't be done, okay? So, but what is the thing? I'm not saying here you to just jump, and to act. No, I'm saying here to jump and act, yes, but with Saturn, which means in a positive way, risked, calculated, um, calculated risks. Yeah. So, or it is like combining the strength of action and of that finding the courage, but also being very, very responsible. Okay. So let's let's go back to to the very. I know it's very simple example to about that car. You know, you want to go. You say, I stop driving this horrible car. I'm going to uh, stop and buy a new one. What is Saturn? Maybe Saturn could say, um, but what about money? Do you have the money to do that? Maybe you don't even have. Realistically, you don't have the money. And that's the square and the tension that is going on. You want to go forwards in life, but you feel like life is resisting it, making it tough. So you can do two things. You can work against the alignment uh, and the divine, 
uh, which would be, ah, I'm just, I don't know what's going on. It's always other, it's always, I have, res I'm res oh, poor me, you know. Aries is not about poor me. Aries is about, I'm going to fix this, whatever it takes. You can use the positive side of Saturn and you could say, hang on, hang on. Yes, I don't have enough money. How can I get the money? What can I do? Maybe um, at night, I have three or four hours left that I'm just after my computer or watching Netflix or whatever. Maybe I can do another job, uh, just temporary, so that I can save money. You see what I mean? That's being responsible. That's not running away from your problem. That's doing something, but yes, in a Saturnial kind of way. So you see, and then you can, you can uh, raise uh, money and within a couple of months you might have uh, enough to buy yourself a new second a new second hand car oh my goodness a new second hand car what do you think about that you see what i mean so this energy is not bad uh, and it's not good either it's what you make out of it and i want you to make this energy which has a huge possibility and a huge potential for action in a very responsible way, I want you to take advantage of that. Don't run away from it, embrace it. And yes, it's gonna to be tough, of course it's tough, but um, you know it now. You know what the weather is like, and um, remember that Saturn is, because it's in Capricorn, it realizes stuff when you do it slowly. So you see how, uh, energies that are actually contradictionary, which is happening now with the moon is it? The moon in Aries wants something not today. Of course not. The moon in Aries wants something yesterday. I want that woman. I want that man. I want that car. I want. I want that bag, uh, that designer bag or whatever. It wants it yesterday. But now combine that want and that fiery desire. Combine it with working hard, persistence, consistency etc etc for instance you could say i want a job i want to i want to create a new business which is aries and you need to have that courage and that fire and that inspiration yes but saturn will say work hard day by day and you won't get you know this on the shoulder for days maybe for weeks maybe for months maybe for years but you know where you're heading at and that will be make you successful um so you see what, uh, this is a, it, it's the first sign of the zodiac, moon in Aries. Embrace it and use it right. It's in all the, it's also with Chiron. So there is some healing energy going on because you embrace, you, if you are going to um, work with your uh, desires and, and, but having the patience to uh, persevere, that is going to have a healing effect, actually. That's the moon conjunct Chiron. It's doing something to actually to heal. You know, I have that nicely, by the way. Oh, now I'm, I'm, yeah, I have moon conjunct Chiron. So I know what I'm talking about on a very visceral level. I mean, we astrologers, we cannot live all the aspects or all the transits, thank God. But we can have an idea of what this energy um, is all about. So yes, this is a, a very uh, challenging energy for sure, but use it right, use it right. And when you do that, this uh, kind of period, you know, you can mark this in your agenda, 24th of, um, uh, of September. It's gonna be a very important day when new developments have started. And, um, and, and you can go for it. And sometimes we need that oomph. We need someone to inspire us, someone to, to make us enthusiastic, which is Aries. So if you feel that energy, good, but make a plan, Comp make it in, in different compartments because the plan that you're having needs that because that's the energy that is around now that we want to work with we don't want to work against it okay working against it would be i want something now and yeah uh, i want it now it's not going to work out that way it's not going to work out that way because it's destined to work in a way that i just described you know new uh, inspiring yes but also hard working and you need to put the effort and you need to take the responsibility Saturn is all about taking responsibility. It's getting so if you are 
in some area of your life in a vic you feel like you're a victim you feel that you're in a victim role and maybe you you are a victim you know of something that happened to you that you had no control over maybe you you had a burglar in the house or whatever and you feel such a victim now is the time to stand up and to embrace the fact that you can do something and that it doesn't break you down that victimhood because there's nothing more um, how would I say liberating and that's the other thing that I've, I uh, still have, want to mention before I finish up this video Uranus is trining Saturn so that's that's helping us so to speak Uranus is in, in Taurus and it's trining that Saturn so what is this this means that all this configuration that isn't the easiest, it's there to liberate us. It's there to make us more free than we are. It's there to make us more authentic, more honest than we already are. So that is really helping us. So I'm going to do that in the, uh, for every sign where that liberating energy is coming from. So you feel that you have a little bit of help there. Um, so yes, the um, I wanted to say another thing and I forgot, like I, I, I forgot to say it with that Uranus over there. Oh yeah, so uh, getting out of the victim role. Yeah, we, we all feel victims sometimes, don't we? And with that moon in Aries, it's an opportunity to stand up and to say, look, this happened to me, it must have a reason. I don't get it what it is still, maybe uh, on the run, but uh, in I mean, maybe in the future. I don't get it, but you know what? I'm going to accept where I am and I'm not gonna let those hardships, those difficult things, you know, get me down and lose my spirit because don't forget Aries is spiritual because it's fire, okay? And that's what's happening. Um, so a lot of people will find the relief of Uranus and Taurus because we still have, um, during these couple of weeks, Uranus in a trine with Saturn. So Saturn is like, it's a modern, modern Saturn that we're having. It's not like uh, it's crushing us and no, it has new ideas. So last but not least, what we can do if we really don't know what to do is doing a little detail there, a very small thing that we are not used to do. Let's give that example of uh, driving. Now what you can do, for instance, is saying, because Uranus want things to be different. You know, Uranus doesn't want to walk every day to the same shop to do your groceries or whatever and using the same route. No, it wants to maybe take another one. I invite you to do that, to do every day at least one little small thing that you're not used to do because that's going to help you in finding solutions and finding perseverance to do whatever it is you want to do because that's Uranus trying, trining Saturn. It's mixing the old with the new. It's for a lot of people, they are going to find, especially also with the Venus uh, retrograde that will be going on in October, a lot of people will uh, find that they're going back to things that they used to do, but now in a new way. That's the Saturn Uranus energy. And this is good, right? Because we keep what is good and what is old, which is Saturn, but we do some innovation and renovation, so to speak, which is Uranus. So um, do something different. Stimulate those brains. Yet brains, you know, they need new um, experiences to uh, to be healthy. And the mind is the body, you see. So why not doing something small differently? Like Uranus, it, it's about doing things different. It, it doesn't mean to say that you have to jump out of an airplane and uh, do some bungee jumping or whatever. You can do it in that small thing. Like with my husband, for instance, I always go to the same restaurant once a week. Well, take another one. Why not? Uh, or if you are a couple that always go to different restaurants, Maybe just go every week to the same one. You see if it, it applies to your personal experience, but you're doing something different. Having said that, I'm going to, I don't want to make that video too long. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this interesting, share, share and subscribe and whatever. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I embrace uh, all the nice comments that I'm getting from you and all the support and the good vibes that I'm getting from people that uh, watch my videos. Um, many, many blessings to you and enjoy the full moon. Bye-bye.